have you got your breath back? What an ending to Ballyboden St. Enders and St. Vincent's. Will we get a game that's as exciting in the second one? We're not sure. But Luke and Sarsfields and Athena are both looking for a first ever go ahead senior one Dublin hurling crown. They can take a step closer today. Athena has been about as close as you can get over the last couple of years. Two finals in a row, unfortunately for them, beaten by Kilmacock Croaks in both. But they got a measure of revenge by beating Croaks in the quarter final. But that's not enough for them. They want to get their hands on the trophy. For Luke and Sarsfields, they topped their group. They've had the perfect season so far, but they've been a long time without a game. That didn't seem to affect Vincent's in the last match, so I imagine it'll be the same for Luke and Sars here, Joe Fortune. Yeah, the big question for me coming in was what kind of what kind of hurt did it have on, on Nafina the last day? Like Nafina the last day got a monkey off their back, went out, beat croaks, but at what expense was Shane Barrett going to be okay? Young Tierney, <coughs> who's had a fine year, was he going to be all right? McHugh is not listed, so it looks like that that, that he just has he's just not made it back in time. Lucan, Ocean, we've covered so many hurling games in here this year, and we haven't seen Lucan in regards to what they've done. They were obviously very impressive in their first day out by beating Croaks, and they've gone on, they've kept about their business quiet. Do you know, they've topped the group, they're six weeks out, and I suppose the big news coming from, from Lucan over the last couple of weeks is that Chris Crummy is back. Does he start? I'd imagine so. Where he starts, I don't know. Do you put him in the half-back line or do you put him centre-forward in on Rush? Do you know, Rush has been excellent since he's come back for Nafina. Nafina have had two years of hurt, massive hurt, two county finals. The first one they had it won and it just went away for them. And last year, Croaks were by far the better team. But this is a big game now because both these teams haven't won, um, you know, championships. And that's the big question now. Who wants to go and who has the stomach to go and play Ballyboard in the final? Because none of them, based on performance levels of, of both the teams in, in the previous semi-final, won't fear them, but then Ballyboden know how to win championships, and that's the big question now. Whoever gets out of today, can they go on, and can they bring a cup back to Lucan or to, or to Moby Road, where it's been destined for the last couple of years? Lucan have been to a final in relatively recent times, yeah. granted 10 years ago, 2013, beaten by Ballyboden St. Enders by three points. There is the Nafina team, and most of the big names that you would have worried about from a Nafina point of view are back, with the exception of Conor McHugh, who does add a bit of steel, so he is a loss. Yeah, he's a massive loss, but that full that full back line, like Ian Burke has been outstanding for Nafina all year. The full forward line, especially for Nafina, is exceptional. The two Corries and AJ. AJ has had a phenomenal year after a really tough year. Pers I'm delighted for him. L lost his sister at the start of this year, a really tough time, and a really great family in, in Nafina. And you know, he's had a really, really, really good club campaign for Nafina. It'll be a lot on his shoulders today to carry um, that as well with the two with the two Corries. But <coughs> in particular, Burke has impressed me at centre back and full back. Two strong boys. McHugh will be a loss. But the big thing for the big question mark over the FINA for the last couple of years is when it gets to those real pivotal moments, have they got it? And they showed the last day here against Kilmacud that they have. Can they bring that now to another level today against a team that yet topped their group? But we haven't seen them. Like they've had some really good performances in Chris O'Leary with Dublin this year. You know, Ben Coffey, Charlie Kerr, really, really exciting player. Like him, Paul Crummy as well. You know, Kevin Fitz. And then in the back line, Matt McCaffrey, Johnny, obviously, who has had such a significant career with Dublin. Um, Ronan Smith as well. Killian Murray has obviously taken over from Shawnee McClelland, where Shawnee was in goal last year. I think we're in for a cracker here. You'd hope. I think the standard here will be better. Uh, will it be as physical? I think the last two teams knew each other so well that their matchups were excellent from both managers. But now it's all about, like we said in the last game, it's not about <laughs> romanticism in the semi final, it's about winning it. Going and winning the semi final and giving yourself an opportunity to take a county title. Under normal circumstances, after the first game, you'd walk around and you'd get the team news for the second. We actually didn't have time to do that because it was such a quick turnaround. So we're kind of going on the fly here. I can tell you, and I don't think you really needed me to tell you or confirm it, but Chris Crummy is starting for Lucan. He has gone to wing forward, or wing back, actually. Yeah, probably on Shane Barrett, I'd imagine, yeah. So here we go. Another change for Lucan sees Kieran Dowling start. There's no real surprise there. Kieran Dowling has featured for Dublin at age grade. Feeney goes long. That's well caught by the defender. And he brings it out in a quick tap pass. It's actually on John Tierney that Crummy is Barrett. They have Barrett inside on, on John Bellew. Dowling going for the pass from Colin Walsh, but it is the Feeney who have it. The aim is Liam Rush. Liam Rush always composed, despite the pressure poured on him by Kevin Fitzgerald. And that's stolen back brilliantly. And the shot comes from Charlie Kerr. He is related to Eddie. Eddie's turned 82 this week. You would never think to look at him that he's 82 years of age. Yeah, Down the line from Paulo T. Just when Charlie would have hit that, the hurl broke as he hit it, so he didn't get a clean strike on it. Crummy, a big presence in every sense. Crummy wins the line ball. Clever play. He knew exactly what he was doing there. 
Yeah, but a great block then by, by Brian Ryan coming in and Peter Feeney working really hard in the middle, in around the middle as always too. Still a big crowd in for this It's a big crowd in and it's great, a big, a big atmosphere there as well. You can feel it. The last game was tense at the end, but there's a, there's a big crowd in and it's good to see it because we needed it. There, but the crowds have been small so far, but it's nice to see a big crowd in today. Kieran Stacey, who's got a goal touch. He is in for the Fina from the start as well. Here is Paulo D. Ryan. Ryan is dispossessed. That's great stuff from Paul Trouble. We spent a lot of time talking about Chris, not so much about Paul, but he will show today why we should talk about Paul. Here's Kevin Fitzgerald. Kevin Fitzgerald recycles out to Dowling. Dowser is he's better known. Sticks it wide. Yeah, just, just off a small bit. Dowser again can be a great player, can score from distance, you know, has, has, has had massive potential underage wise for, for Dublin over the course of the last couple of years, but needs to push on now if he wants to, to take that next step. Tracy, for those of you only joining us today and at this stage in the championship, Tracy has a monster puck of a ball and he's using that there. He couldn't quite grab it, John Tierney. He did get under it. And Luke could have won the break again, coming out of defence, Ronan Smith. Rolo again as he's better known. And it's a line ball to... To Luke and yeah. Yes. Paul O'Dee came out, kind of batted the ball in the air, did well. O'Dee, very impressive all year, very good use of the ball. A lot, a lot of that half-back line is determined by him from the, for the type of ball that goes inside. You can see they've left Shane Barrett in their ages on the 40, so Shane is on his own inside. Intercepted by Brian Wright, capable of scoring long-range points. There's Paul O'Dee. AJ Murphy hovering in for the break. Might come his way, does come his way! That's a brilliant block. AJ gets it again. AJ goes again, and the keeper got something on that Point and up. directed it over. Yeah. AJ's just on form at the moment. Like, he's on fire every time he gets in there. He got three goals in the last game. A chance to see it here now again. That's why Barrett's in there. John Bellew is one of the best man markers in Dublin. Like, you've seen it at county level as well. He's really impressive as a cornerback. Good save because that was a good shot by AJ. It broke kindly for Colin Walsh. Colin Walsh tees it up and flights it over. AJ Murphy scored 3-3 three, three against Kilmacook Crooks. He was in the form for it that day. He looks like he's in the form for it today. Andrew Jameson Murphy to give him his full title. Here's Colin Curry. Colin Curry. Great block down. Getting across was Matt McCaffrey. But it's Andrew Jameson Murphy again. Goes back outside looking for a player in space. Ball. That is a perfect pass. Peter Feeney. That's yeah. a perfect finish. AJ's brought the form from the last game into today. Now again. And all credit to Nafina's management as well. But no matter what the result today, everybody wrote Nafina off when, when Donald Burke got injured. And th the players have really stepped up over the course of the last six or eight weeks. And Burke is a massive loss for them. But they've, to get to this stage and having put away with Kilmacud in the, in the quarterfinal, credit to the, to the players that are, that are taking the field. But Luke and Luke, you know, they look real... I don't know what it is. There's, just, there's something about them there today. That, and again, will they push it on? But just look real energetic. Is that six-week break going to be good? Like you said earlier on, let's see. Lucan under Charlie Carter, the Kilkenny legend. I see Peter Kelly's in the line with him over there as well. And, you know, like Peter's a great man to have around the place as well for, for the dressing room. And he's been there and done that. And I know the lads in, in Lucan would massively respect him. And you can see he's not quiet on the line or he's, he's yeah. driving that crowd on. And he was one of the best hurlers around for a while, wasn't he, Peter, he was, yeah. Peter Kelly? Poking that forward is Colin Walsh. Trying to get it up now is Sean Curry. Sean Curry. Tierney tried to get there, but it was intercepted. Straight down the line it goes. Sean Harkness tries to come and meet it. The hurley goes absolutely flying. I have never seen a hurley fly like that. Paul D. Just got away from Shane Barris. Yeah, playing brilliant at the edge of the square. And that's turned over brilliantly by Nafina. Do they get the score off the stick of Sean Curry? They do. Yeah, good score by Sean. And again, John Bellew did really, really well to break it down because Barrett is a massive threat in there, similar to, to, to John and Hederton in the last game. If he stays on the edge of the square, he's a great hand, and AJ and Curry will play off him all day long. I do remember seeing a Hurley fly through the air towards Lark Corbett, uh, Corbett in an All-Ireland final, but that was thrown. That Hurley there, that just kind of flew after it got knocked out of his hand. He's trying to drive out of defence. Yeah, Damien Burnett, has he's let the game go in the first five minutes without a, without a real free and a chance to come out, so... John will come out and probably go for this. Good work from Liam Rush to win the free. Tracy comes up. Rush has been some addition to that Nafina team for the last two years. I know they haven't won it, but just to stabilise that, that half-back line. Mm, they have got to finals. They have made yeah. progress. They hope to make even more now. Out of goals from John Bellew. Kevin Fitzgerald came deep but couldn't soak it up. Line ball to Nafina. Yeah, Paulo did really well there. Kevin Fitz not happy. Just such a, a, a really solid hurler. Kevin Fitzgerald. Yeah, he's a big man and you know he's been around a couple of years now for, for Lucan and like you said, 
is it 2010 or since the last time they were in a final against against Bally 2013. So 2013. So and there's a lot of underage talent coming through Lucan. So they need to push on. I know that there's an awful lot of work going out there. And they've great facilities as well. Sean Curry. It has the air. It just won't quite swing back in. Killian Murray gets it going. Looking up the park is Paul Rigney. Trying to get there is Charlie Kerr. He was well policed, but Kerr gets that was good marking by Sean Burke. It's a bundle of energy though, isn't he? He's yeah. Just when he flies out to a ball, they're like real, real pacey. Well, if you've been following the championship, you're probably sick of hearing it, but of course, no Donald Burke for uh, Lafina. Such a huge loss. And they've gone all season without him. Stacy. Stacy takes it and sets Jimmy Clerken free. Clerken trying to get away from O'Leary. Into the path of uh, Tierney. Breaks kindly for Lucan and then Stacy gets it. And here comes the shot from Barrett. And there's yep. the score from Barrett. It's a good one as well. It's John Tierney, I beg your pardon. Great score by Tierney. But again, Stacy did really, really well there. Obviously, in the place of instead of Gavin King starting off, but real pacey for real typical kind of Nafina forward, like real pacey, real wristy, good hurler, you know, and a good brain as well. And here's John Tierney again. Looking for him. Murphy, he's found him. Murphy. He'll take his point. He was flying over the ground there, wasn't he? Andrew Jamison Murphy. Yeah, you asked me earlier on, like, will this six week gap hurt Lucan from where they were? And here's the proverbial. Um, man down now when you're kind of four, three or four points yeah. in a row, but um, no, will it hurt them? It'll take them a bit of time to get used to the, because you remember the last day Oshin as well, like Nafina had to get that monkey off their back with Kilmacud, came through a titanic battle only a couple of weeks ago, and that has to stand to them based on, you can play all the challenge, as we as we probably saw over, over different sports in the last while, like you can play all the challenge games and, you know, uh, that you want, but when it comes to real championship, it's totally different. Rory Oak champions at Antrim, they've beaten Lockheed 120 to 119. Shamrocks cruising to another Kilkenny hurling final. They're 519 to 14 points up against James Stevens. O'Loch and Gale is awaiting for them in the final. Kilcormer Kalahi cruising to an Offaly title, 322 to 8 points up against Shinro. The winners of Dublin, by the way, will play. Uh, the West Mead winners. You were at that final a couple of yeah. weeks back, Joe. Last weekend, yeah, really exciting final. Lock and Gale's just had it. Had it won, and then just a moment of brilliance at the very end by Killian Doyle just won it. So they'll be, I'm sure, keeping a close eye on this weekend and, and in two weeks' time on the final. Right. That's a risky enough ball. He was aiming for Paulo D. He didn't find him. Lucan in behind here. It is Dowling. Dowling! Blocked. Smothered. Ryan, I think, got the hook on there. Also getting in might have been Sean Burke. Well, Nafina have a player down with his helmet off, so we can't continue. Yeah, just just strange at the moment that the the, the, the Luke and forward line just hasn't clicked, has it? No. Like they're, they're, they're okay in around defensive in half back line. You know, Nafina on top, Tierney's winning, showing ball well. You know, AJ is just a thorn in the side of any team they've played. I hope he gets a real run at, at a shot next year at, at, at senior level as well with Dublin because I think he's earned it um, at club level this year. I think he's been exceptional after a really tough year for him personally. but. Uh, look again, Nafina on top at the moment. You know, five one up after ten minutes. Lucan will be disappointed that they've only one point on the board after ten minutes. It's a good puck out, Curry. Curry. Barrett's in the square. It'll drop his way, but he can't take it cleanly. He hasn't given up on it. Here's Chris Crummy. Crummy trying to get away from Barrett. Crummy. Clever play, tidy play, oh. Colin Walsh, good step. He's plenty of options to hit here, Colin Walsh. He caught it three times. Well, he had too much time, if anything, there. Yeah. It's, it's funny, when that happens, like you're saying, don't catch it again. And he'd done so well over on the sideline in a tight space, great feet, broke into space. And just thought the referee had turned this, but like you get away with that in a club in a league game, you know, and you know, and not really, there's no one there, but like at this level, the county semi final, you need to be getting rid of that ball quicker. Brian Ryan will strike it. Go, 
Right. Yeah. Good score. They're opening up a gap, Ocean. Luke yeah. haven't come out of dressing room yet. That needs to be, I'm sure that, that that message will come from the line fairly soon because nothing has clicked really up upon, uh, beyond that halfway line Ryan against intercepts it. Ryan driving on. Ryan eyes up the post. Didn't yeah. catch that one right. Kevin Fitzgerald. Goes outside. That's risky enough again from Lucan. And that's a fantastic take. And he'll drive out of defense to fullback. Yeah, Kevin exceptional. He did really well there. Really like him now. Him and uh, him and uh, him and Kevin and and Sean have been exceptional for Lucan all year or for Nafine all year. Broken down. Falls kindly for Johnny McCaffrey. McCaffrey fumbles, but he is fouled. It's a free out. Barrett really making a nuisance of himself up there now as well, physically and on and off the ball, he's causing a problem for, for Lucan up there. John Bailey was done well on him, he's broken ball to ground. This needs to be better now from the Lucan keeper here. Murray. Fitzgerald dropped it on the ground, it's tough to take the ball cleanly in cold conditions, it's kicked out wide though, and now on it is Luke Walsh, Luke Walsh. Crummy couldn't take it there. Big hit between him and John Tierney. Well, these rucks are so important, and if you can win ball in them, you can decide a game. Peter Feeney. Outside it goes. Colin Curry. Oh, that's amazing from Colin it's Curry. Super that's that's brilliant from Colin Curry. It is. You give the boys, the two lads, the two Curry space, Sean and Colin, like they, they'll score all day long, and they're getting too much space at the moment, and Lucan are just, just way off it at the minute. Well, they're not playing as a full forward line. They're not playing as they were named, but all three uh, starters in the full forward line, as named, have scored for Nafina. Coming back to take this one, Chris O'Leary, originally from Cork, was on the fringes of the Cork senior panel, but obviously now part of the Dublin panel. Yeah, I thought he had a really good year with Dublin this year in the middle of the field. I thought he kind of really he stood up um, at, at pivotal times, just unfortunately didn't push on at the end. That's a that's a poor wide from his standard as well. Just seemed a bit nervous. Like they looked when they came out at the start, they looked real kind of you know up for it and like a lot of energy in the warm up, but just have gone off the boil in the last. It was a good catch. Chris Crummy runs onto it. Chris Crummy. Again, it's booked into a heavily populated area, but and that was Paul a good Brent. catch by Paul Crummy. Paul Crummy, sure he's fouled. Referee says yes, free in. Well, that's what they need. They need yeah. Paul Crummy taking yeah. balls like that. See Chris trying to drive them on there now as well. Chris Crummy's doing a lot of talking around the half back line, trying to get them going. He's oh. missed that. Sean Harkness, who scored 11 points in the win against Kilmacud Crokes, somehow has missed that. Well, you can put it down to the long, long layoff since their last competitive game, but uh, as you say, Lucan just haven't come out of the blocks. Trying to break it there was John Tierney. Chris Crummy gets it back. Chris Crummy, who hasn't played any championship hurling so far, is actually the sharpest. Yeah, it's. And, and don't take away, like Nafina have been really good, Oshin, yeah. so far. They've been really good defensively up front. They look really lively. Just nothing has clicked yet for Luca. Another high testing ball. Rush goes up for it. Who will it break to? Breaks kindly for Kevin Burke. Kevin Burke, he's not fouled, he plays on. Now he's got plenty of options. Super One of his Feeney. Feeney. Looking for Stacy. Stacy can't keep it in. Well, that's a complete miscue, and Stacy takes it. He'll go for it. Will he get it? It's off the stick of Sean he Curry. Oh, listen, the, the space, if you give Sean Curry space, he's very similar to Donald Burke like that. Give him space, there's nobody stepping up to him. Give him space and he'll put the ball over the bar. Every day, all day long. Luca need to get it going. Can Darling do something here? 
He'll get the possession. Dowling. It's wide. Just a bit of leadership now, you know, Matt McCaffrey, Johnny, Chris, somebody needs to win this puck out here. Again, look, the puck out, is, it's not tight enough. Sean Curry. Peter Feeney. Feeney's a sniper. Yeah, and you can hear, you can hear the message coming from the Baxter. That's not what they were doing. We don't shoot from here. Do you, know, you don't need to do that. He's been exceptional for them all year. Really good around the middle of the field. You're not there to, to shoot. Give the ball inside to the boys who are doing danger in there. Rolo Smith. Pulls it in down to Shane Barris. Smith gets it away anyway. Ryan is waiting for that. But he lets it off for Liam Rush. Liam Rush eventually gets it, gets it into his hand, but then drops it under pressure. Ryan is trying to take it out. Lucan trying to turn it over. That's great from Ryan. Ryan, good hand pass. AJ Murphy. It's a dipping ball down towards Stacey. Colin Curry is trying to get there as well. And Colin has Curry it. has it in hand. Stacey's outside. Gives it to Stacey. Stacey! Good save. Back to Stacey. He's bottled up. Gets it towards Curry. AJ Murphy is screaming first. Now it's Sean Curry from Colin Curry. And Sean Curry hits yep. it over. His third point. Probably should have been a goal though for uh, Probably should have been hit it straight at him. Yeah, and we get a chance to see it here now again. Stacey's causing massive problems. Colin did really well. Give the ball off. He had to hit it low, hit it high, gave the goalkeeper a chance um, to save it. But again, the most important thing in a situation like that is get your score. And just look and look at sixes and sevens, running around after ball and players rather than kind of really stepping up to the man, which is very different to what I've been hearing in, in a couple of the, of the first couple of games. Well, they get a free in there. It was good work from Charlie Kerr. Like we, we spoke in the first game, Oshin, like it's 20 minutes gone. You have two points on the board now once he, once he gets this free. He's missed one poor free already. You know, like, Lucan's management won't be happy with that. But credit to Nafina, again, they're doing what they've done all year. They're just getting about their job. You know, the, the lads are finding pocket space up front. And if the Nafina lads get given space, they'll shoot and score all day long. You have to be tired than what that Lucan defence is at the moment. A yellow card for Liam Rush. Harkness missed the last one. I don't think he's going to miss this one. He's looking for his first of the game. Over it goes from Harkness. Rolo's up as the shout from Smith. Yeah, but then you have to win it. Taken by Barris. Might fall kindly for Murphy. Oh. Stacey, back to Murphy. Murphy gets it in hand. He's got plenty of options to pass to. Was he fouled? Referee says no play on. And AJ Surely Murphy is tripped. down. Let's hope he's okay. Luke Walsh trying to get it in hand. Referee now stops play because Andrew Jameson Murphy was down and there was a, there was a lot of players around him. Surely tripped Ocean there coming out. But again, look, uh, Damien's right beside it, so he, he obviously has the, has the call on. I just thought when AJ came out, he was, he was tripped, but um, referee, obviously that's his, that's his job in there to make sure that it, it's done right, and we saw in the last game that they get to ma make the big, the big, huge calls. You're right, though, he looks hurt. It's not like him to... Patrick's well beat uh, Kilmallock 225 to 215 in that uh, Limerick senior hurling semi final. They're playing the Pierschig in the final. St. Thomas is 119. Sarsfield's 15 points, the latest score in the second Galway semi final. That's Kevin Burks all day long. Oh, that's a that's bad that's tackle by Kevin Fitzgerald. Mm. Again, the FINA have some players there, Ocean, that, that are capable of stepping that next step up you know, to, 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 to wear Dublin colours. Kevin Burke has been really good all year for them, exceptional all year, and mm -hmm. came out there again, but quite a high challenge, and, and, and a lucky yellow card, you could, you could say as well, it could be a bit more than that. Just Luca need to get there. I maybe need to get a minute half time. Yeah. Like, so nine points to two, two points after 20 minutes of championship hurling, they won't be happy with that. And, and they've been putting up big, sorry for cutting the right. they've been putting up big score lines as well all year. It's, like you said earlier, you asked the first question you asked me when I came in today was, well, first of all, did I enjoy the rugby? And second, was was it a case of, you know, is six weeks too long? That's a good take. Back there to sweep up with Paul Crummy. Here's Rollo Smith. Moved it on, Luke Walsh. Oh, he left it behind and Stacey almost pouncing there. 
got himself out of trouble, having got himself into trouble. Smith just bounced away from Feeney, trying to win it now is Chris O'Leary, who's going to break two. Jeremy Clerken was there, but uh, Luke can have it. And now they've got the free in, and they're beginning to turn yeah, it a little yeah. bit. But by freeze and, and, and a big. You can see Chris is up there in the middle of all that as well. And when, when Chris came back a couple of weeks ago, came back into the team, he needed to, to, to push things on and to drive things on. And you can see that was important. He's up around there now and that leadership that he'll bring back to the team. And sometimes you, it can be unsettling having somebody back who hasn't been there over the course of the year. But I'm sure he's earned his stripes in, in, in green and white and in blue over the last number of years to come back in and, and to, to set back into a team. Well, whether or not he'd stay around if they won Dublin, I'm not sure. But for, for, for these two, it's about winning a first ever county senior. And then whatever happens afterwards in the AIB Leinster Championship, I'm, I'm sure they'll deal with then. Sean Harkness deals with that free very well. Yep. Second one for him, and the gap is six. Oh, John oh that's intercepted by Paul Crumby. Just He's got to loads of time here, now. Paul Crumby, but he runs at the defence, gives it back, Kevin Fitzgerald, Kevin Fitzgerald. Yep. He's gets his first score. The first poor puck we've seen John O'Tracy hit for the course of the games that we've done, and Kevin Fitz with a good score. Paul Crummy's playing well there when they get in. I'd like if, if, if I'm Luke and I want to see Paul Crummy probably a bit closer into the goal, I think Dowser would be better off out in that kind of 10 12 spot and leave Paul inside because Paul has a habit of getting goals. And Luke could have hit three in a row, and it looks like it will be four in a row. Yeah, they're starting to move now, and that, that roar, that Luke and roar from the sideline for steps, um, got inside uh, Damien's head there as well. So. That's it. That's another free for Lucan. Harkness with three frees. Four point game. We couldn't have extra time again, could we? <laughs> Tracy. Barrett attacks it, doesn't win it though. They say it was off the ground, but Curry plays on, and Curry doesn't score. Murray gets there. Stacy was held off by the defender. Gets it outside. Colin Walsh. Colin Walsh goes for the diag. Dowling trying to get out there. Off the stick of Burke, and he guides it into the path of Rushy. Oh. Rush pounced on by two players there, while one player downing. Oh! You oh, just knew Liam wasn't Charlie comfortable Curry. back there. You could see him because the, the lads were coming back. Burke was trying to cover behind him, and you, could, you knew he wasn't comfortable. Stacey is the intended target. It's defended well by John Bellew. Jesus, ever for every forward's nightmare, John Bellew. He's just in, fine fingers in the face, everything just to be on top and to win his ball. Chris Crummy goes long and goes direct, but it's Rush who'll soak it up. Granted under a bit of pressure from Kevin Fitzgerald. Rush never looks under pressure, does he? Here's Kevin Burke. No, but he doesn't want you can see what Luke and the tactic have changed. They've pushed, they've tried to get Rushy back closer to the goal. They don't want him at six because the half back line was dominant. Kevin Burke back to Clerken. Oh, that's brilliant. Clerken, who can shoot. Clerken, he'll have to go off the stick here. Looking for AJ Murphy and finding him. And Murphy leaves it behind. It was it was a tough one to take, but Paul Rigney followed him all the way. Chris O'Leary doesn't shoot, goes for the long range pass, but doesn't quite work out. OD. I don't think I've ever hit seen Paul OD hit a poor ball or something. He's so good on his distribution. Sean Curry, look at the slipping yeah. into AJ Murphy, but Smith read it like a book. Matt McCaffrey. Walsh. Luke rather than Cullum. Luke with the diag for Dowling. Dowling with the smart turnaround rush. Dowling. Oh. In on goal. Dowling needs options. Dowling goes for it himself. And doesn't get it. He actually looked around there. He checked. His I thought he was foul as well going through. Yeah. He's getting pushed on the ground now as well. But I did think he was foul going through. And again, John was was really quick to tell the tell the uh, to tell the umpires that the ball was wide. That's two poor wides for 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 Dolan as well. That he you, you normally not associate with him. But it's funny how he looked around and kind of shot because he'd no real alternative. I think he he wanted someone to make a break and perhaps create a goal chance. Like for all the hurling that Nafine have done us, it, there's only four points in it. You know, if Lucan were to get the next one or two before half time, they haven't played well at all for 20 minutes. Tracy. Barrett. Great, great catch. catch. Great catch. 
but he was absolutely surrounded. So actually getting the pass away cleanly was tough. McCaffrey gives to Luke Walsh. Luke Walsh, Dowling is not moving particularly well. Luke is still battling for it. In there is Chris O'Leary. That's a brave win of the ball by Sean Burke. Like telling me that those two lads pushing are not good enough to, to make that step up. You know, Sean and Kevin Burke have been exceptional all year for Nafina. It's great to win the roll ball. They're brave, they're tough. You know, nothing seems to kind of irk them at all. They're just to get on with their job. No big fingers pointed to the crowd or hands up in the air. Just do my job, win my ball, and, 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 and you know, distribute it back up to the forward line again. Sean Curry. No real breeze to speak of, by the way. It's pleasant. Chilly, but pleasant. Murray pats it rather than catching it. It's still around there, and Murray collects the break. Murray making his way out. Well, it works out in the end for Lucan, but batting it there was quite dangerous. Great take, Kevin Fitzgerald. Kevin Fitzgerald using those dancing feet. Colin Walsh blocked down by Brian Ryan. Comes back to Colin Walsh. Walsh spoons it forward. It's intercepted. Trying to get there is Crummy. Crummy has it. Tangled up by Ryan. Crummy still battling and joined by some of his friends. Colin Curry in there just poking at it for Nifina. And it's Paul Crummy. That was some double in the air by Sean Curry. A skill that you don't see much of anymore. Here's McCaffrey. And that's another one you don't see much of anymore. Just Donald Ryan half volleying it down the pitch. Smith. Spotted a man in space. That's a very clever ball. John Bellew. Bellew. Was he fouled? He was, he yeah. was by Clerkett. Just going to say, we hadn't seen much of, of Johnny McCaffrey at all, really, from the six, because they're obviously coming off him. They're getting away from him all the time, and they're coming off him rather than hitting balls straight down that. that but, but again, when he, when he lines up with, uh, with Bellew, he can be very, very good. He's one of those players that you'd love to see get a Dublin senior player. Ah, you would, stage. absolutely, absolutely. But he's one of a number of players out but there they don't both teams. <laughs> you don't hand him out for, for sentimentality either. You know, the medals don't get given like that. And, you know, I'm sure Bowden are watching this now. And what, what team would they prefer in the final? You know, between both of them. I don't think it's going to matter to, to Bally Bowden. No, I think they'll be fixed on the next two weeks and getting the prep right. Ten minutes since Nafina last got a point. Lucan have scored four since. Is that about to turn into five? No, it's worried. Derek Clerk just confirming got that yellow card. Four points for Lucan without reply. And still a four-point game. Oh, that's dangerous. And he lost it, didn't he, Kevin Fitzgerald? But Lucan have it back. That's Chris O'Leary. And that's yeah. a good snapshot. It's two poor puck outs, isn't it, from, from Jono, which is not like him. He hasn't. He's, he's done really well all year. And again, you can see the ball, like that kind of dribbly ball. And, and Chris just turns off his, off his left-hand side. Good score. Well, they're, they're simmering nicely now, Lucan. They started slow, but... They've got into it. Five without reply. McCaffrey. Crummy. He's asking an awful lot of Chris O'Leary. Donald Ryan tries to nip in. Chris O'Leary with a brilliant roll of Ryan. He can score from these types of positions. He is going for it. But he's not getting it, I don't think. No, he's not. No. Luke could have switched uh, Ron Smith onto, onto Shane Barrett as well. And Shane tumbled on the ground. There. Like, Smith is a, he's, a, he's a good kid. He's a good, good young fella. And he's... He's tight on Shane now as well to try and curtail that influence of that ball being won because Barrett will cause problems if he gets on that first ball. Actually. Extra time and penalties if required Higher. today, by the way. Shane Barrett's under this one, as is Tierney. Oh, that's brilliant from Sean Curry. Now Ryan. Yeah. And Ryan puts it over. They end a long, long wait for a score that has gone over 10 minutes. It's a, a second for Ryan. Yeah, and that's something that Neil and, and Colin and those lads will speak about at half time. That 10 minute spell, they went, they went off it. You're still four points, so probably a couple of minutes to play. Chris O'Leary's come into it, but Nafina back on ball again now. Ryan to Sean Curry. Curry looking for Stacey. Bounces past him, comes to Andrew Jameson Murphy. He had the defender breathing down his neck there. And Matt McCaffrey is giving it fist pumps. Following him was Paul Rigney. Smith. He's a good distributor, isn't he? Yeah, Roll is a fine player. Yeah. No, he's a fine player and he's a good like I like I like him in around the middle of the field. Downing. Shouldering Ryan, winning the line ball. It's what you want to see, a bit of physicality.
Well, he's actually given a free because that wasn't shoulder to shoulder by Dowling. Tracy. Well, he's going for it, there's no doubt about that, but it might not have the legs. Barrett's trying to get in under it. And Murray is very solid under that high ball. Not easy for keepers, but he made it look easy there. Crummy couldn't keep it in play. Line ball, Nafina. There's a real sense of nervousness, isn't there, around it now at the moment? And Look, as both managements will want to get him in at half time now. Lucan will need a good kick up the backside at half time. And Athena just dropped it for about seven or eight minutes there when they were well on top. They were 8 2 up uh, and just took the foot off the pedal a little bit. And I'm sure they'll get a reminder of that now at half time as well. Yep. And that is half time. Nafina <coughs> by four, 10 to six. What have you made of it? Lucan just didn't come out of dressing room for the first 10 15 minutes or she. Nafina were excellent. AJ was on form as he, as he has been all year. Luke and we're just off the pace and you made the point earlier on yeah. to me when we came in that was that six week gap going to be a going to be a problem and I know they've been up to north and that they've, they've played against the um, Mount Leicester Rangers a few other teams over the last couple of weeks but there's nothing like championship and there's nothing like the the battle that Nafina had to go through a couple of weeks ago against Crooks. Nafina look better at the moment have we seen enough of Paul Crummy and, and, and those guys yet no we haven't and has the forward line for Luke and Click yet no it hasn't but you have to give credit as well to to two lads who I think have had a phenomenal uh, club campaign and Kevin Burke and, and Sean Burke they've been exceptional Rushy is kind of cleaning up as he normally does and then the two boys up front especially Sean and Colin when they're given space Lucan's backs are way way too standoffish and if those lads get space they'll score all day long let's have a look at the highlights if Barrett caused problems like if he has AJ in around him all the time this again was a chance he got a chance here to shoot for goal and it's a good save ball went over the bar do you know again Chris O'Leary is the focus for, for an awful lot of their puck outs, and this was a, a score that, that, that Lucan got, a good score by Colin Walsh, but we just haven't seen enough of that. That's a poor, like, just a poor distribution on the way out, and again, a good score. Like, Feeney, Feeney's done well for Nafina this year around the middle. There's a lot of that kind of donkey kind of work that, that you know, you don't get the accolades for, it, but there's a lot, and, like, the two boys, the two curries are exceptional when they get space. Tierney hasn't been in it as much. He hasn't had that... Like he's won an awful lot of primary ball in a couple of games. He went off, unfortunately, the last day, but hasn't been in it as much as we've seen him. But came up with one or two scores there as well. And like in around the middle, they're on top. Again, is Rolo Smith possibly in? A, is he better in around the middle for for Luke and to get on more ball and and to kind of explode up the field maybe? I just love, to be honest with you, the way Nafina have, have galvanised after losing one of the best forwards in the country, not just in the yep. county in Donald Burke, how they've galvanised the group. They've pushed on, no excuses. If they win today, that was a very poor... Like, If you look at that, you wouldn't expect that out of a, of a, of at this level at all, and you hope that they don't rue that at the end, but the two Curries, when they get space and time, they're, they're exceptional. They really are, and they've done well today. Sean Curry with three points, Colin Curry with one. This could have been a goal, I think you, you said it at the time. It should have been a goal, hit it down low, it was a goal all day long. Just didn't really hit it and gave the, the Luton keeper a chance to, to save it. But again, the most important thing is the ball comes back out and you get a score out of it. Harkness. One of his three frees, probably should have been four. Yeah, I think he missed two in the, in the, in the first half. The pitch did cut up a small bit after the first game, and you can see one or two people, one or two players losing their footing. Paul Crummy, I'd prefer in on the edge of the square or in around that area, that two-man full forward line. I just think he's won one or two balls in the half forward line, but there's so many Nafina, Nafina defenders, it's very hard to get a clear run in and goal. Chris, good score by Chris O'Leary there off his left-hand side. Again, at this level, you'd expect a man that's playing midfield for intercounty-wise to be, to be having a little bit more of an influence, and I'm sure he'll be told that at half-time as well. So those are the highlights of the first half. Nafina leading by four. Uh, who is going to win this? Well, your guess is as good as mine because I think there's lots of twists and turns to come in this match. Nafina 10 points, Lucan Sarr 6 points. The score at the break earlier on. Bally Bowden took on St. Vincent's. Um, an epic in an excitement sense, not an epic in a quality sense, but at semi-final time, especially when the winter draws in, it's hard to produce slick, free-flowing hurling. And we saw that in the game. There was still lots of quality, lots of good moments, and lots of drama. Uh, but at a tight game, um, at, 
a game with an unbelievable finish. Let's just uh, tell you about what's happening elsewhere. Middleton 15 points, Sarsfield's 12 points is the latest score from Cork. They're into the second half there. In the Limerick semi-final, Patrick's well overcame Kilmanic by 10, 225 to 215. St. Thomas's are three points up against Sarsfields. They're in injury time in the Galway semi-final. Earlier on, Turlock Moore beating Loch Ray 222 to 122. It's 13 points apiece between Killadangan and Thurla Sars in the tip final. There's 38 minutes gone there. Rurio beating Loch Gila by one point in Antrim, 120 to 119. Um, in um, Nace, or in that, well, the game is going on in Kildare. In Kildare in the hurling final, it's Nace, 313, Coil Dove, 11 points. And in Kilkenny, Shamrocks beat James Stevens 519 to 14 points. And earlier on, O'Loughlin Gales beat Bennett's Bridge 316 to 22 points so it will be Shan Shamrocks and O'Loughlin Gales in the final in Kilkenny it'll be an all green and white final there Kildoki 19 points Rathout 16 points is the final score from the Mead Senior Hurling final don't forget you can win lots of good prizes uh, with thanks to Go Ahead in the Go Ahead Dublin Club Awards to enter go to the Dublin GA website where you'll find information on that and fixtures and everything else that you want to uh, know about Dublin club hurling. It's been a good weekend for Nafina uh, in a sense that their senior Camogie team kept their senior status with the win in the playoff. Can their senior men get to a third final in a row? Can Lucan get to the final for the first time since 2013? Those questions will be answered today, whether, whether it's earlier or later, we're not sure because extra, penal, extra time and penalties will be uh, used if required. Half time, Nafina 10, Lucan 6. We'll be back with the second half. Stay with us. We met down at Fairview and Kieran's brother was a friend of my brother's. We met through them so when I was coming up to the Debs, I invited Kieran to my Debs. He asked me to marry him and I said yes so long as our firstborn child played for Vincent's. And he said okay, Grant. <laughs> it's great to have our family involved as well. I suppose if the kids weren't as interested in it as we were, it'd be very tough on us. Kieran's are playing Vincent's. The tension in the house is gas. Mam is obviously Vincent's and Dad is Kieran, so Mam always claims that she'll give John steak for dinner and she won't feed Kevin. It's always a bit of a laugh, but I suppose no one takes it too seriously. She had her hands full. She could have got a job as a bus driver. The amount of dropping off and picking up she did from matches around. Leaving some matches early to go to another match to make sure she got the end of that or make sure we all got the same amount of attention. There was no favourites. It means everything. I don't know what we do without it, to be fair. We eat, drink and sleep. It's always true to family like the rest of us. There's not enough support in words, I'd say. It's I know my whole life at this rate. We're very proud parents. That's a huge achievement to have 100% of your family still playing. We're proud of them all, every one of them. My name is Neve Heatherton. My name is John Heatherton. I'm Kieran Heatherton. I'm Patsy Heatherton. And as a family, our roots are set in the GA. Force probably is the absolute heart of this club, both in their, their ethos, the amount of work they do, and the, just the pure love they have for Nate Marnog and the GA in general. In simplest terms, we probably couldn't function without Grown Force. I suppose the GA was always a bit more than hitting the ball or hitting the schlitter, you know, and it gave a great sense of community to people. I suppose at my age, fear of retirement, worried about the unknown, what am I going into, going into a home under my wife's feet all the time or something like that. And then we just got this men's initiative started off. We feel that we're giving something back to the club that gives so much to us. We come up here on a rotary basis and uh, line pitches, cut grass. It, it kind of empowers us as well. If we feel valued. We're all friends. We're all retired. We're all around the same age group. Some of us have nothing outside of uh, our work and uh, Ground Force has been a, a big change for everybody from a mental well-being point of view. It's really, really important and really significant and there is great camaraderie amongst the group. So I think there's about 30 odd men in this initiative that comes up to the club and 
has the chat and the coffee is important as well. <laughs> we sort out the world down. Yeah. <laughs> or we're most of it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it means to me, just the achievement and pride. My first memory of GAA would probably have been in Croke Park with my father. That would be in the early 1950s. As a young lad brought down to watch one of my brother's matches. Playing under 10 hurling, and I say hurling not camogie because I played on the boys team. My feeling about the GAA was more a social one than a games one because I thought it was a great way for all the kids to get to know each other. Mum and Dad always brought us up to have each other's backs. We'd all go to each other's matches. No matter what we were doing or playing, we'd all support each other. I'm playing for the club 37 years, I think, now. But I also coached my two daughters' teams. It's great. It really is a great feeling to have the kids down there. And now all of their friends are beginning to come from the same community and the same focus on the club. So it's a mirror of what happened to me in my childhood, I suppose. We made more friends down the years and had more fun down the years than ever we would anywhere else. My mum fostered that through us as well. She was chief bottle washer. She'd have jerseys upon jerseys out in the line. Three of my offspring are, are married and they met their better halves through the club. The friends and relationships I got out of it. Looking back, that was really what the GA was about. Community about building relationships with people. My name is Mick Galvin. My name is Mary Galvin. My name is Phil Galvin. And my family roots are in St Bridget's GA club. Welcome back to the second half of this go-ahead Senior 1 Dublin Club Championship Final. After 18 minutes, Nafina led by 8 points, 9 to 1. As you can see, Luke and Claude are back somewhat. They got a quick kind of four points in a row between the 20th and 23rd minute. That was a real period of dominance for them. Nafina did have a goal chance at <coughs> the 18th minute, Murray making a couple of good saves. Uh, between the 18th minute and half time, Nafina scored just one point. They really need to start finding the target again, Joe Fortune, don't they? They do, yeah. And I, I think if you're if you're stepping out from from looking at two semi-finals today, the, the, the big thing is if you're trying to find new players to, to, to push on from from Dublin club hurling onto to the senior, it's very hard because both all teams today have been so tentative and nervous and not really went for it. I'd imagine there were some harsh words at halftime in that Luke and dressing room. What is the point of topping your group if you don't go out and really give everything in the semi-final to get to a final? So that's a huge, huge thing for me. Um, can you go and can you really push on and can you really go and, and have the stomach to go to, to get to a final? The referee is calling over Paul O'G. Well, he's sending him away now. On the ground is John Tierney. He's having a chat with Chris O'Leary. Big difference in this one ocean towards the first one in terms of physicality, isn't there? Do you know the hits and the, they're not? It's not in the same stratosphere as what uh, as what the first game was for for physicalness, physicality. D Damian Burnett giving the yellow card to Chris O'Leary, and Colin Curry puts it on the ground. I'd imagine Neil and and Colin that that are involved with Nafina would have told Nafina like get the first couple of scores on the board here now, get ahead again, you know, push yourself seven eight points up make Lucan doubt themselves a little bit more. Whereas if Lucan were to get a, a goal early on here now, it would really set us up for a, a good finish. Colin Curry sends it through the air and between the posts, and that's a good, solid start for Nafina. They are desperate to get back to the final. They're desperate to put it right. Of course, it won't be Crooks who they'll meet in the final if they get there. Nafina themselves took care of that. Here's Chris Crummy. Yeah. That's quite the response from Lucan. Made by one and, and finished by the other, like really well done by Paul Crummy there, won his own ball again. I've said a few times you'd love to see him in around the square, but Chris with a great score. And you know, they're going to need leadership now for him in the second half, especially if it's been away now for a couple of months. 
Well, it's intercepted. That's very good work by Kevin Fitzgerald, but he couldn't take full advantage. The Fina have made a change. Michal Murphy is in for them. And now picking up the break is Colin Walsh. Finds Luke Walsh. Luke Walsh looking to find a second point for Lucan in the second half. Yep. And he has. He has it. That's an interception. Is it going to be a point? The shot coming from Colin Walsh. No. It's wide. It would have been some start if it was, Oshin. They've come out now firing in the second half, and you can see even the body language, now the tails are up. Tracy. Colin Curry is there. Couldn't take it cleanly. The battle is on. Michal Murphy is in there. Michal Murphy just kind of got away from him. Throwing his shoulder in there is John Tierney. And now coming away is Smith, who's had a fine game. He's hooked. Colin Curry tries to seal it back. Now it's AJ Murphy. Now it's John Tierney. Luke Walsh. It is a rook. And it's no one on the ball, really. No one can get control of it. It's poor now as well, and somebody needs to win the ball and get out of there quick. Well, the referee gave it as long as he could. I think it's going to be a clash ball now. AJ getting a bit of attention inside there now as well. He's, you know, he doesn't need to be in around that rook area. He's not. That's not. He, he's brilliant when he has that bit of space, but he doesn't need to be involved in that. In that kind of, he's, he's getting a fair few reminders now coming out of the rook that he's, he won't be in there the next time. But AJ's had a great year, he, but he needs space. And you can see, in fairness to Luke, and they've shut down that space in front of him in the, at, the, at the first kind of 10, 15 minutes. The Fina were well, well on top. Ball goes in. Doesn't go out very far. That was won by Kevin Fitzgerald. And it's a free out for Lucan. Mm. Chris will go for this one now. He's, he, he's capable of this distance. It's a huge distance, but he is capable of putting this over the bar. So he needs to settle himself down here now, and this will be an important one for Lucan. O'Leary. The flight takes off and doesn't reach That's its destination. And Luke could have a man down. They're going to have to make a switch. Dowling is convinced of that anyway. He's not moving overly well, Charlie Kerr. No, it hasn't really happened for him today either. Like he's a bundle of energy and really lively inside forward, but just hasn't clicked for him today at all. So um, the right change now as well. And, and, and like you've Ben Coffey coming in, exciting young player. Always capable of getting a goal as well. They go short to Clerken. Burke, they're inviting Lucan onto them there. Can they get out? Here's Ryan. Ryan will run it. Burke makes the call from inside. Still Ryan. It's an unusual pass, pass, but it works out. Liam Rush intercepted. AJ Murphy fighting for it, but it was taken in well by Paul Rigney. Murray. McCaffrey. It's stolen back by Shane Barrett. Barrett will have a go here, surely. Yeah, we know he's what he's going to do. Now. Murphy outside. Barris. Didn't catch it right. Big hit there now as well. Well, let's have another look at that Barrett chance. Yeah, we've seen a couple of times this year when he gets that run inside, he always goes for it. But Chris Chris Comey came back in across, and you know himself and Johnny did really well now to, to, to push it out. I thought Shane was hurt, but uh, just just didn't hit it like he normally does. You can see them trying to drive each other on now because it's. 
It's again, it's similar to the last game, Oshin. It's a case of who really wants it now. You've, you've said it all year, every time you've seen the Fina, you know, the hurts, the pain. Do they really want it bad enough now to push this thing on? Because when they're on, they look really, really good. Well, Jack Burke is in, Shane Barrett is going off. I, I would imagine that's temporary. Well, they certainly hope that's the case. Ryan guides it down into the path of John Tierney. John Tierney sweeps it back to Rush. Rush. Well defended again by Luke and just batting it away was Bellew getting it to Chris Crummy. Chris Crummy marauds out, making the run as Bellew. Crummy goes long, trying to pick out Sean Harkness. Just kind of stops away. dead on the turf. But Harkness turned it fantastically. Harkness. Yep. Great score. score. All came from that all came from John Bellew. Wins your own ball as a defender there, comes out, pops it to Chris, and Chris gives a good ball inside, and Harkness makes up for that, that free that he missed earlier on, and a, a really good score. Burke. Rush pops it back to Burke. Is that a free? Yes, it is. It was OD who popped it back to Burke rather than Rush. a yellow card for Paul Crummy. Colin Curry will take the free. Curry. Over yeah. goals, great score. His second of the game. Right beside the lads over there, right beside, you know, Neil and, and, and call him that as well. And and, and like Rochi did like they're really like they've backed this this team for so long for the last yeah. couple of years and you'd wonder now can they really push on? His second free of the game, he's third overall. Lee Le Rush tries to get there. Can't do so, but it's a line ball to the Fina anyway. Rush from O.D. Rush bottled up. O.D. Burke. Tracy. He's capable of launching it right down the park from here, but he doesn't do that. Just sends it into the path of Ryan. Ryan might go for it. No, he won't. Jack Burke. He's lively and he's skillful, Jack Burke. Oh, John Tierney goes to the ground. Has to be a free. Breaks Conley for AJ Murphy. AJ Murphy Gets it, puts it over. Good score. AJ was in there actually sorry, again for cutting across, but he, he was inside. He, that ball could have been delivered. They're overplaying a lot today, Nafina, in that half back line. It's worked out for them well there, but again, that, that ball was hitting hit in faster. AJ was in a pocket of space inside to win his own ball, but good score at the end of it. Matt McCaffrey. No alternative foot to go long, looking for copy. Luke and Ball. And their fans are up for it, as you can uh, definitely see and possibly hear. It's Chris O'Leary. Yeah, you'd imagine Chris will go for this one, but again, you made a good point there just a couple of seconds ago, but I don't know whether you meant it or not, but the, the fact that the, there's nobody inside really... Ooh, I told Chris O'Leary, that is magic. Yeah. But they've nobody up front. They've nobody. They've congested that middle area again. Tracy, a no look puck out to Kevin Burke. Sean Curry, not fouled. He's taking off. He's using his speed. It's Mihal Murphy. He's hurt though. That was a good ball. Tierney loses it, and he was fouled. Twenty-one yard free, but. Young Curry is hurt. And then Feeney goes down. Let's have a look at the replay. He takes off really, really well, like really good pace. Breaks inside. I think he could have popped it to AJ there, couldn't he? Mm. It's a good call by Damien, to be honest. I don't think it's inside. 
the final Sunday week, by the way, Bally Bowden will play the winner of this in the Senior 2 final, St. Jude's against Crave Curon, both of whom went down last year and both of whom are going back up this year. But they want to go back up with a bit of silverware. Here's Colin Kirk Curry. doing enough to stay ahead. Michal Murphy backing up. Luke Walsh trying to win it. And it is Davina. And it is Odie. And it is Curry. And yep. it is a score. Great score. A fourth from Curry. All from play. He does look hurt, Oshin. Like, like yeah. You can see him there. He's but what a score. Like what a what a player when he gets on loose ball. Roll up. Smith trying to get away from Jack Burke. Taken by Walsh. Smith. Coffee's hovering around the square. Intercepted. Great catch by Sean Burke. Ryan. Jack Burke has a look. Cushions the pass down the line for AJ Murphy. Bellew following him all the way. Colin Curry. Colin Curry. It's a swing and a miss. It's hard to look good shot again, AJ out in front. They're, they're, doing, they're, they're doing their best to curtail his, his, uh, his momentum and movement today, but it's very, very bunched. If, 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 you, if I'm looking now, I'm pushing somebody up top. It's, it, you, you need to get that ball inside. You need to create a goal chance, possibly, to beat this Nafina team. A cannon off coffee, and it's a line ball to Nafina. We've got that five point cushion. Without being overly, you know, without being as good as they can be. And Lucan won all of their group games. They got here at the direct route. Nafina had to go via that win of, against Kilmacock Crokes in the quarter final. And Shane Barrett obviously went off, Oshin, like at the time he yeah. went off full time. Michal Murphy. Murphy trying to get away from Walsh. Gives it to Colin Curry. Curry brings it forward. Brian Ryan. Brian Ryan is pounced upon. And it's turned over. That's good work. He did very well there, Matt McCaffrey. Matt McCaffrey. Chris O'Leary. O'Leary, desperate to get the ball away to a fellow Oof. green and white jersey. But he is fouled. That's brilliant for Chris O'Leary because yeah. he was absolutely surrounded. The odds are against him. But put it over the bar now. Like, you know, all the celebrating and fist pumps are great. But put, it, put the ball over the bar now. Well, I think Sean Harkness will come out to take it. He will. I'm surprised because Chris Chris has that ability to, from distance, to, to get them as we've seen. Fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes is the shout from the pitch. Not sure who's fighting it, but or shouting it. Here's Harkness. It's going to drop. Dale went after, but he couldn't get there. Yeah, great defending again, like really solid cornerback playing. Rushy back in there as well to catch the ball and, and drive it out. Rushy's had a good game now, good, especially in the second half. Jack Burke is trying to get this one, but John Bellew is right on top of him. Colin Curry trying to dig it out. Luke Walsh in there as well. Ball breaks kindly for Nafina. It's AJ Murphy. Brian Ryan is screaming for it. Brian Ryan gets it. Oh, no, he doesn't get it. And Crummy is in there to win it back. And here's Chris O'Leary. Chris O'Leary is knocked away from him. Tierney. Tierney going to round. Walsh. Still it's three on two inside for the field. Walsh with a kind of a directionless hand, or, uh, one stick pass. Well, it wasn't directionless. In fairness, he found Harkness. Advantage coming to Lucan, and now they have the free. It kind of looked like he was just hitting it one-handed, but in fairness to him, he knew Harkness was there and found him. Yeah, you can see one significant thing now that that Luke and have done, they've decided to push Chris up. He's gone up to that kind of 10 position now as well. He was in around the full forward line. He's, he seems to be in a, in a bit of pain just with his right hamstring there. You can see him just off camera. John Tierney is going off to get some treatment as well for Nafina. And that yeah. goes over. And at the moment, the steady hand is of Harkness is keeping the minute. Yeah. 
Well, Nathina have gone deep into their bench a couple of times this season. So that'll stand them well here, I think. And coming in is Gavin King, who doesn't weaken a team when he comes into it. We saw that the last day out. Kevin Burke looking for his uh, teammate, Colin Curry. Couldn't, well, he did find him, but Curry couldn't give it in play. Intercepted, but rebounds kindly for Luke and Rigby. Straight on top of Rush. Hoodie. Rush taking it on the move. Rush passing rather than shooting. AJ Murphy gets there ahead of Rigby. AJ. Super directed score, it yeah. over wonderfully. Late hit on him there now as well. He's a, he, and he's in pain. We can see yeah, he's not the happy. Ground. Yeah, he's not happy. Four points from play for AJ Murphy. And for large periods, he's really had to feed off scraps. So it says an awful lot about him and his ability to take chances, his ability to be economical yeah, he, with possession. Something's happened there because you could see him hitting the ground three or four times and he got a late hit too, but he, it's not like him. He's not that kind of kid. He's Burnett having a, Damien Burnett having a word with the linesman. His ankle, is it? Yeah. I think so. You know, you, you can see him, he's still, he's agitated there, now he's hitting the ground again. He's massively uncomfortable. You wouldn't just worry about him for the end of this game, but the final, if they get there. Well, it's been a, an emotional sporting weekend, and that, uh, that toll that it takes is quite heavy. And even if you were a complete neutral here today, the first game was draining in a good sense. This game draining too, again, in a good sense. Good sport, high intensity sport, high stakes sport. It just draws you in. Flash ball, kicked forward by O'Leary, but only as far as Clerken. Clerken has found Gavin King. Gavin King. No, oh, it's the wrong side. Yeah, Michal Murphy is chasing after the, this. Rigney's going to win the race. Jack Burke there as well. AJ is still on, and he's moving okay, which is good news for the yeah. fans. You can't see him off camera, but we can see him here. It's a free out to Lucan. Well, it's such a huge day for these two clubs. They will both hope the bigger days are to come, but. Uh, no matter where you're watching, around Dublin or around the world, we hope you're enjoying it. And we hope you have enjoyed the coverage on Dubs TV this season. Because this is the last Senior 1 game we're bringing you. Both finals at uh, the Senior 1 Hurling and Senior 1 Football will be on at TG Cahar. We'll bring you the Senior 2 finals. So it's not our last day out, but it's our last Senior 1 day out. Here's Chris Crummy. He's fouled oh. free in. Yeah, you're, the freeze are keeping Lugan in this. They're not getting anything. There's no, there's nobody really putting up their hand inside. AJ is probably the best forward on show. The two Curries have been good, um, exceptional at times. <coughs> at times when they have space, just for Lugan, nobody really apart from just for freeze. Really, I'd love to see um, Paul Crummy inside for because I, I just think he's done it for Dublin. I think he'll, you're going to get. I think they're going to need a goal to, to win this. Harkness to make it a four-point game. They've pushed Chris up, all right, but... Wide ball is the shout from the packs, and their right came from the sideline as well. I think Baxter is about to come in. We know he can make an impact. <laughs> Donald Ryan is screaming down to the forwards. You've got to move. Baxter will hover around the centre somewhere, I'd imagine. And going off is Brian Ryan. As always, worked hard, put in a shift. Burke. Ryan. It's a bit of a loose one. Michal Murphy trying to get there, and he won't. Crummy. Still Crummy. Now Dowling. And Michal Murphy does get it. But it's a throw ball, mm. and it's a free in. 
they need more out of Dowling though they've got nothing out of him really today like he's a two poor wide in the first half but they've, they've, they've just he hasn't really done it today at all just has to go over and all it and Harkness slaps it over and the gap is four big puck out here now who wants to win it you see Chris pushing up on Rush you know big chance for Roland to get up here for this one well Athena have got goals so far in the championship this season haven't needed one so far haven't really looked much like getting one so far although they, they did have one decent chance in the first half Walsh finds his brother Luke Dowling Clerkin gets out in front Dowling gives him a bump Crummy against Ryan Crummy gets away he's isolated so he has to go instead of Crummy no. he's unlucky no he's unlucky yeah. it's really impressive by the the, the Nafina wing backs is that they don't stand waiting for a puck out from Jono you can see here as well at, at times that the donor Ryan just gets away from Chris O'Leary so Chris is caught between two minds do I push up on do I go back do yep. I leave that space well and if man wearing number 28 is about to come in I would presume that Shane Barrett Colin Curry come forward now it falls for AJ Murphy who pulls on it and Murray makes another good save. Murphy tries to get it again, he does. He's got Sean Curry outside. Sean Curry from an incredibly tight angle. Is that a cross or a shot? It's a cross. Baxter, he's got Colin Curry outside. <laughs> Sean Baxter, we know he is capable of going for it. Slips through the fingers of Feeney. Well, they might regret not just taking the point there. Here's Chris O'Leary. O'Leary to Crummy. Crummy loses it. Feeney. Crummy wins it back. He's lost his hurley, but he has the slitter. Then he loses that as well. Nafina trying to come away with it here. Out it goes to Colin Curry. Smart turn. Colin Curry to Baxter. Baxter tangling up there with Matt McCaffrey. Baxter trying to find the man who ran with him. That's Gavin King. Gavin King doing his best to win it, and he does. That's brilliant from Gavin King. Gavin King has to go off the stick. Juggle it to Baxter. Baxter. Wide. Five between them. 17 plays 12. Chris O'Leary very unlucky there, came out was brave, like to you know, brave as a lion coming out through a ball but just didn't, the ball is just not moving fast enough in there, they're just thinking too much about it and, and again you can see what I've called for for a long time, Paul crummy has gone inside now rather than Dowling and like Paul is capable of getting that goal, they're going to need a goal to, to, to win it I feel. Murray, Gavin King has gone back off, Shane Barrett wearing number 28, I think that's him who's come on, 28 wasn't listed which means it's a blood sub, here's Feeney. Barrett trying to break out to this, can he get there? Or at the very least slow his man down, has he fouled? No he hasn't, but Rolo Smith is there. That was actually Jack Burke rather than Barrett. Here's Dowling. You want more from him, can he provide it here? He slips, but still gets his shot away. Dowling. Oh. Wide, unfortunately. Indeed. Well he was brave to go for it, but uh, just didn't quite work out. I actually don't think that number 28 is Barrett. It's not Rush, because Rush is still out there. Soaked up brilliantly by McCaffrey, who comes running out. McCaffrey. It's Tierney, is it? John Tierney, is it? I think so. Okay. Colin Walsh. Good diag, good catch. Sean Harkness. Harkness, wide. That's poor. They're going to rue that. That's really poor. Five points in it now. Six, seven minutes to go. You, you put Paul Crummy in, give him the ball. Tracy goes long. Tierney slips through his fingers. Tierney might try and get a second bite of the cherry. Tierney's still battling. Colin Walsh. Here's Sean Curry. Sean Curry. If he directs that one over, it's fantastic. No, it's yeah. wide. Puck up and go on top of Chris here, no, I'd say, I'd imagine. Luca need a goal. At least one. 
Got bottled up there, McCaffrey. Got himself out of trouble, in fairness. Oh, that's left behind. Murphy tries to win it back. AJ Murphy. And just to update you, the scoreboard, uh, we jumped ahead a bit. Nafina lead by four, not five. Ryan. Ryan. Ryan gets clamped. O'Leary wins it back. O'Leary is chopped upon there, and it's a free out. No matter who comes out of this, Oshin, it's, it's still very hard to call the final, isn't it? You couldn't, like, based on today's performances, like, none of the teams you would say have put up their hand and say, like, they're really standout performers. O'Leary. Bounces wide. 12. They needed to drop it in. They needed to go for goal. Doesn't work out. So neither team will care if the Fina get to this county final. They'll give, they'll give themselves a great chance against Bowden, and, and Bowden will feel the same. So it'll be it'll be a quality final from that point of view. But just in terms of fair today, both all four teams will say that they haven't really hit the heights. Feeney couldn't soak it up. Dowling looking for Crummy. He's found Crummy. He's got Crummy oh. with him, and taking one for the team was Sean Burke. Had to do it, didn't he? He did. Because if, if Crummy gets that gallop up there, he's, he's straight through in on goal, but Burke had to take that yellow for, for to make sure that they can get a goal chance. Well, they'll be able to make it a three-point game here, and then a goal levels it up, and they have plenty of time. Dowling. Flights it over. Yep, three point game now with, you know, probably four minutes, maybe four mm. minutes to go, five minutes to go. Jeez, we could be here for the evening yet yeah, to get a goal. <laughs> That's right, extra time and penalties if required. We've already had the extra time today. Baxter is a target. Doesn't come to him, it does come to Colin Curry. Was he fouled? He thinks so. Plays on. Breaks tiny for Walsh, left it behind. Jack Behan loses this, and it's a free out. Baxter, it's a card as well. I'd yeah, say. and they they want to hit it. There's no point making the runs yet because he's not. Damien's not letting the play go yet. Sure, that's what. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, he tells them to come back. Crowley's annoyed because he felt he was he was pushed under that one, but it wouldn't. Wouldn't matter. Wouldn't, yeah. yeah, exactly. He was eager to go there, wasn't he, Johnny McCaffrey? He was, and Chris is up there now as well with the brother, so it's a big chance here now to float this in and can see can one of those two big men win it. But like Rush, no better man in there now to, to be in around Chris as well, but this is a big chance for Luke and Oshin. McCaffrey, this is going in on top of the square or just outside. Who's going to fall to? The battle is on. The ball has disappeared. It'll be a clash ball. Yeah, like we said, who's fighting? Like Matt, is, is, is Rush, he's in there around it. Burke has it. Round the nick. He's fouled, it's yeah. free out. Yeah. Played it, but, but was perfect as well, needed that. If John has the smarts here now, he'll slow things down. Well, if Hurt guaranteed success, Nafina would have their hands on the cup, but it doesn't. They have to get to the final first. Tracy, will it stick or will it come back his way very soon? Walsh tried to win it. In there as well, John Bellew. Colin Curry tries to get to it. Now it's Rollo Smith who's played very well today. Smith might have to go backwards. It's a risky enough one, but Paul Rigney takes it, runs into a spot of bother. Sure. Rigney, is he fouled? No, it breaks for Colin Curry. If he scores, it could be the guarantee point. Breaks off the legs of a Lucan defender and out of out over the line it goes and it's a line ball yeah smart by curry as well didn't actually run too hard after that ball to go to the line because he wants to break the play 
think you've what a minute and a half gone you're you're probably looking at three minutes with the with the injury to aj and maybe one or two more so lucan's season now is you know it's up for it's up, it's up now at the moment like in a minute and a half if they can't get a goal sean curry so they haven't played well today Oshin. they haven't played i suppose they, they haven't played as well as they did in the group stages it's got the lift that puts it into a penalty final yep i've said it before but i think that one will He may, he may well have just lifted his team into the final. Lucan will feel it's not done yet. And there is time for some more twists and turns. I've said that a few times today in both games. Michal Murphy gets the possession. Baxter wants it. He's an open country. Lucan desperate to get it back. Desperate to turn it over. No one has it at the moment. It goes loose. Burke sliding in there. It will be a free, but a card will follow. And there's a bit of a schmazzle off the ball. Tensions running high. Well, Demon needs to get his helmet back on. Yeah, he has a smile on the face now as well, like he's loving a bit of a battle over there. <laughs> he certainly is. Reaction to come to this game, by the way, via the Dublin GA social media channels. Already up there, you can see uh, post-match reaction to Paddy Bowden's win earlier on against St. Vincent's. Mine's been having a chat now with Damien here. Paul O'Dea has gone on the ground. Well, that last score for the FINA was their first since AJ Murphy's uh, point in the 48th minute. Yeah, and they, they'll know themselves, Oshin. They haven't overly played well today. If you're standing looking in at this, if you're, you know, board management or what was Vincent's, whatever, you're, you're looking at this, and the FINA haven't been really good today. But yeah. if they get over the line, they won't care. That semi final is about winning. And I think that last score that. that, that young curry got from the sideline that's nearly the most important one because no matter what happens here now if luke can get a goal surely time is up luke can have the possession they need scores. Have they got a free? Yes, they have. Now, do they have the time to take the point? Or do they have to drop it in, get the goal, and then win the next possession? No, they have to get a goal, Oshin. They need a goal now. Well, they need two scores. And I don't think they'll have time for it. But they need a goal first. They won't have time to work that ball back in again. You haven't read your unofficial rule book. If they get a score here, they will be given time for at least one last chance. Dowling. He looks like he's measuring it up for a shot, as in he's going to go for a point. Maybe he's going for the He'd point. He'd want to play. hurry on and hit it, though. Yeah. Dowling. He's going to take his point. So, it's okay. a three-point game. So, obviously, he's been told that there's, there's a bit of extra time there. Yeah. You will always I get didn't think five chance. minutes though. But there was a, there was a lot of kind of stoppages and niggly stoppages, and then that stoppage, and the referees always add for that. Tracy, this isn't done yet. Sean Curry is trying to get under this. A score for Nathina would guarantee it. Jack Burke takes it. Jack Burke. Jack Burke is fouled, and that should be that. Yeah, well done, Jack Burke was brave under the ball there, and just just the city free to give away at the end. It looks like this is definitely Nathina's day. The Fina Bally Bowden County final, it'll be it'll be something like you said, it won't be on, on Dubs TV if TG Carr are taking the game and it, it'll be something that'll showcase, you know, I suppose the, the team that's that's won so many county titles in, in Valley Bowden and then the team that for the last two years have faced that hurt have been yep. in two county finals and not winning it so. I don't care about showcasing, I wanted to do the final. It's my fault for not learning Irish in school, not learning it well enough. Here's Colin Curry. Tough on Lucan as well. That six week gap, you were right, it, it has had an impact. They were impressive against Kilmacode first day out. They were really good in the group stages. Anything that came in front of them, they put away. But just. That's that. It's a four point gap, and I don't think there's time for no, Lucan to make it up. They think there is time, and they'll keep playing. Here's McCaffrey. He has to launch it. He does launch it. It's swatted at. Yeah, That's a great take. take. It's a brave take. Now it's Sean Baxter who'll run it out and probably run it home for Nafina.
Baxter. But who won that ball there? Big high ball, big ball in. Liam Rush. Colin again. Curry, back to Sean Baxter. Jack Burke is there as a pass if he wants it. Baxter maybe could have passed it. Kicks it into the path of Jack Burke. Jack Burke wants to finish this one in style. Both the move and the game, but he lost it. Luke can come forward. Jack Burke. Jack Burke's not fit, right? man, but it's it over. doesn't matter it's because over. there was no time left. Nafina. And Lucas Sarsfields go out. Nafina reached their third go-ahead senior one final in a row. That in itself is some achievement. But sport is not about getting to the final or playing bravely and not coming away with any silverware. It's about getting your hands on the silverware. It's about winning the final. And Nafina are in a position to do it. That's what they wanted. They wanted another bite at the cherry. And they've got it. They have, yeah, and incre all credit to them. Like it, it's, it's to come back without your talisman, without your, you know, the main county star. It's all credit to the to the Nafina players. Lucan will be very, very disappointed. Didn't really go at today's game at all. Didn't really show anything up front for what you were they were capable of doing because they put up big scores. But credit to Nafina, credit to management. You know that the group stuck together after two tough years. Delighted for AJ in particular after a really tough couple of months for him and his family to get to a county yeah. final and a really special day ahead now again with Ballyboden and Afina. They met in a in a I think in the league final in, in 18 and in 20 and they, they've met a number of times over the last while but credit to Nafina's management they brought this team you know to another county final can they go on and win it now uh, Ballyboden stand in their way and there's a big game coming up in two weeks time well let's have a look at the highlights not the most free-flowing of games but Enough in it to be entertaining. And Nafina, well, they won it, so they don't care what kind of game it is. They're in the final. They're back where they wanted to be. And they will hope that three's a charm. They will. They'll hope. The first year they had it won, Oshin, and it just that minute moment of brilliance from Ronan Hayes at the end of the first year, you know, brought it to extra time. Bringing uh, Chris Crummy back in, added something to, 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 uh, to Lucan's charge. You could see as well, just they were uncomfortable, I thought, in around the forward line all day. They just didn't really click for them. Um, both the games today were congested in around the middle. Like this man was, was impressive before he went off. I hope for, for Shane Barrett's sake he's going to be okay for yep. a county final a, as well because he went off injured again and he's had a tough run of it injury wise. You know, nothing really nothing really standing out as a as a new forward apart from AJ um, in regards to the club championship from, from, from the two games that are there. But like again, the two Curries when they needed to stood up, the the, the sideline was was incredible. This this one here from Colin right beside the, the three the three men who have led that team over the last couple of years, Colin and you know, and Neil as well. And credit to them lads, you know, they've they've stuck with the team. You know, the easiest thing to do would to be to be thrown and, and loyalty sometimes is not really rewarded. Um, but the three boys have stuck with this Nafina team and there's a there's a big final coming up now. It certainly is. Lucan, well, <laughs> I think that slow start caught them in the end. It did, it? yeah, you're right. It did. And y the question you asked me first time today was about the, the, the idea of having the six week break. I don't think it did anything for Lucan. And we, we've spoken off air and on air about, like, you know, challenge matches and that downtime. It's just not the same. And, you know, it's the real championship fair is what Luke, what got, the, what got Nafine over the line today without really playing well was that game against Crooks on the basis that you've said it a few times they've emptied their bench Murphy coming in as a, a, a as a sub made a huge difference I thought got on a lot of ball young Stacey looks exciting all the time and again you know it's 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 the quality that Nafina have built up over the course of three years of what you keep calling hurt now have they got enough in the locker um, that man was phenomenal, Liam Rush. Have they got enough yep. in the locker now to beat Ballyboden? You know, the season campaigners, the, you know, the, they've been around, they know how to win finals. They've won a number of finals. The last one was, was 18. They were in the final in 20 as well. They won a final in 13 and five in a row. So Nafina haven't won a final and y nobody for sentimental reasons put your name on the cup. Um, that was a really important tackle yep. by, by Young Burke there because if Chris had got away, he would have got a goal. But look, it is what it is for now. It's 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 the end of the of the... The, 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 the real part of it now it's the final and who wants it the most that was exceptional fantastic what a way to seal your place Dowling did get one for Lucan after that but uh, it narrowed the gap and nothing more and they didn't really get a chance to goal after that Seemed like a really tight group as well. And I think you look out there and look the family. Like it's there's real family involvement. The crowd yeah. was really good today. I thought you know the the, the crowd got behind um, all four teams today, and, and you know that's what Championship Hurling should be about. We'd love to get those bigger crowds in for the for the earlier games as well. But I think it's going to be a really good final. I think it's going to be a final that that people will look forward to. Um, you know while we won't cover it ourselves, it'll it'll be on the national um, I suppose the national station. I just thought Rushy was outstanding when he needed to be today. Peter Feeney does a lot of hard work in around the middle as well, and the two Burks for me there's there's no reason why they can't take another step up the you know up the ladder in regards to the championship. Delighted for Paul O'Dea as well. Like yeah. he's he's a really good player, um, really lo a good fan. And like I said, like all those lads are, are good lads. The Lucan lads would be disappointed. Ocean they didn't they didn't really turn up today, and that's really disappointing in the semi final. 
It's interesting to watch the Nafina crowd. They're happy, but they're not hooping and hollering. There's no hype. They've experienced the run into a final over the last couple of years, and they've all learned from it. I think um, both the players and the fans. And while they're congratulating their team and their players for getting there, because again, that is a good achievement, they know not to get uh, maybe overexcited. Nafina are back in the final where they'll play Bally Bowden. It's a hard one to call. Bally Bowden still in line for the double. They play in the football final next week against Kilmacud Crooks. That will be quite the encounter. That's live on TG Cahar. We've got the Senior 2 final, by the way, live on Dubs TV next Sunday. That should be a good game between Fingallians and Clontarf. Of course, they've both guaranteed their Senior 1 status for next year, but they still want to win the trophy. We're back for the Senior 2 hurling final on Dubs TV in a couple of weeks' time. That's Crave Kiran and uh, St. Jude's. Uh, and the final itself will be on TG Cahar. Let's just uh, run you through what happened elsewhere around the country today. Um, there's still 19 minutes to go in Cork. Middleton lead by one against Sarsfields. Patrick's well beat Kilmallock 225 to 215 in the Limerick semi, so they play in the Pearshick in the final. St. Thomas has beat... Um, sorry, they're still playing there, actually. It's gone to extra time. St. Thomas has won 20, Sarsfields won 17. Late in extra time in that game in the Galway semi-final. Turlock Moore won earlier on, beating Lockray 222 to 122. Killadangan, one point down against uh, Thurless Sarsfields with 20 minutes to go in the tip final. Rory Oak have beaten uh, Loch Giel by 120 to 119 in the uh, Antrim final. And uh, wouldn't you know, just as I talked to you, my app has frozen. So I'll go back into it. Joe, what kind of final do you think it will be? I'm not asking for a prediction, but I am a asking for um, a bit of detail on how you think it will go, how you think it might play out, what, what approach the teams might take. Well, and I think what you said a few minutes ago might have a, a big bearing on it as well. Nafina have been in. They know what the prep is like now for the next two weeks. They've done it for the last two years in a row. They know what they should and shouldn't do. They'll learn from maybe little small little organisational mistakes that they made in the last couple of years or, yeah. or, or good things as well. From a Valley Bowden perspective, Oshin, look, they're used to being in finals. Um, you know, and while they haven't been there since 2020, at the same time, when they get the finals, they're always very dangerous. Yeah. And David Curtin will know, like, the, the two, the, the, what stood out to me today as well in, in, in lots of ways is that you know, you've got Bally Bowden, you know, home managed, Nafina home managed as well. Like the real look, they'll know, they'll both know what it means to the club. Is this the last chance for that group of players in Bally Bowden to put silverware on the board? A group that have that given so much to Dublin Hurling and to Bally Bowden, you know, is this the last hurrah yeah. for some of those players? It probably is, it possibly is. Whereas Nafina have given so much underage wise to Dublin Hurling, have given put so many players on a, on a you know on, on Dublin senior teams and underage teams this yeah. if, if it's hurt that wins you a county final surely this has to be the year for Nafina but never ever write off Bally Bowden in a final and I think we should be in for a cracker in, in, in two weeks time Sarsfields have beaten Middleton in the Cork final 21 points to 19 so there'll be a big night in Glanmire a lot of talk about no senior hurling clubs on the north side of Cork City anymore but Sarsfields is just outside of Cork City so well technically not a city club they're not far off it it ended in a draw in Tipperary. Killadangan 119, Thurlisaris 22 points. Rory Oog beat Loch Giel in Antrim. Um, Middletown won in Armagh. St. Vincent's earlier on losing out to Bally Bowden here. You can watch that game back in full on Dubs TV. You can watch this game back in full as well as soon as we finish our coverage. It will go back up online. Uh, Nace have won in Kildare. They beat Coil Dove 313 to 11 points. And a lot of Dublin clubs would be very familiar with Bray Emmett's because, well, first of all, it's very close to Dublin. And secondly, they'd use their fantastic facilities uh, to do training. And uh, Bray Emmett's have actually won the Wicklow final today. 115 to 210, the final score. Kilcormac Kalahi beating Shinron 326 to 38 in the Offaly decider. And O'Loughlin Gales will meet Ballyhale Shamrocks in the Kilkenny final after they both won their semi finals today. Um, Joe? Your final word on the senior one hurling championship. The final is still to come, but the bulk of it is over. What have you made of it all? Look, it's, it's been a good club championship. Um, I, I think I haven't seen um, Dublin management here, but I, you'd imagine that they've picked players that they want to see over the next couple of weeks and couple of months from a Dublin point of view. Are there new players out there? I think there are. I think there's a couple of new players there. I think standard-wise, at times, we've had some some games that have been really, really exciting, but the, the, the fair itself is, 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 is you know... It, it's all come down to who gonna win, who's going to win the county final at the end of it. I don't mind in regards to like people at times, just because I had a couple of years with Bowden. I think for, for Dublin hurling, they need to find new forwards. And um, have we found a few this year to, 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 to take that next up? Possibly, there's possibly some there. 
Overall, Oshin, look, it's really enjoyable. Like you come in here on a, on a Saturday or Sunday to, to do a bit of co-commentary. Hopefully, we'll be back for the for the senior two final in a couple of weeks. But from a from a senior one perspective, I think it's it's a really exciting final ahead. Lucan will be disappointed. They've had a really good year um, in the group stages. But like I said to you earlier on, like the sentimentality has to go out of it. Winning group stages and leagues and friendlies and whatever autumn internationals, whatever you want to call them, it just doesn't. It, it's not. It's about winning on the big big day when it comes down to championship. And Bowden will know how to win. Athena have had hurt for two two years. You'd love to see, see Liam Rush with a county medal in his pocket, yeah. but you know you'd love to get another one to, to, to Simon Lambert and stuff as well. So I'm just looking forward to a good final. Well, it's great to see Kevin Burke out there signing autographs. He's a hero. I know forwards often soak up the attention and get all oh, the praise, but, player, uh, yeah, yeah. but but it's but it's at the back. That's where Athena really built from, and they've got a fine back and they've got a fine everything. They're just good all over the park, and it says an awful lot about their management and the club itself that despite the blows they've taken they are back in the final. Three finals in a row is some achievement and they'll face Bally Bowden in the decider. Bally Bowden who haven't won it since 2018 and while they were in a final since 2020 it feels like longer than that because that was the Covid year and while it was great for the teams that won that year anyone who won that year and has won since has said this is way better because it just <laughs> was not the same. That's a time in our lives we never want to yeah. revisit. Anyway um, that's almost it from Joe and myself. Um, my thanks to all the team who puts the production together. As I say, we are back next week for the Senior 2 final live on Dubs TV. That's in football in Galleons against Clontarf at the uh, Kilmock of Crooks Valley Bowden game. We'll be live on um, TG Car. We will have a preview podcast of that game a little later in the week, and you can keep an eye out on the Dublin GA social media channels um, for details of that and how to find that. Winter is coming, isn't it? You can see it. The evening is drawing in. But you know what? So are two senior one finals, and we're looking forward to both of them. I hope you are too. Thanks for watching today. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.